Welcome to Color Correcting Basics in Adobe Premiere CC. Here we are in the normal Adobe CC layout, but we're going to go up here to where it says color, the tab color. Once we click it, it is going to change the layout so that it includes the special effect over here on the right side called Lumetri Color. It's going to bring up this window with multiple little tabs in which you can uh, play around with different effects and colors to fix your image. So down here, I have already put in my timeline three different clips that have color issues. And I'm going to show you different things that we can do to fix the color. So this first image, you wanna make sure the settings show up in the top left. And you'll notice here that this white wall doesn't actually look white, it looks kind of blue. And so the way you would go about to fix that right away is over here on the right side, you see that there is a white balance option, this white balance selector. You click the little drop, and then you click the white. You see right there that it changed it right away. Although right over here, it looks a little blue still. So I'm not happy with that. So sometimes you have to try it a few times. And so I'm going to actually click this again. And I want to go and make sure that this white and this white right here all looks white. So instead of clicking there, I'm going to click right in the shadow. And look, to me, that looks a lot better. And so all of this looks white now. So that's how you do very quick white balance. Now you'll see over here that I added Lumetri color to the effects in the clips. If I hit this FX, you'll see the effect go off and on. So you see the before and after. This next clip, what we have here is an image that's very dark and so it doesn't look the greatest. And so I am going to then go over here. What you'll want to play around with is the tone and all its manual settings. So you'll see there's exposure, contrast, highlights, shadows, whites, and blacks. You can go and play around with each of them. Uh, so I'm going to mess around with exposure. That essentially digitally plays around with how much light that there is. But you'll see that as I'm bringing this up, a lot of this, the brightest Parts are also getting super bright and we don't really want that. Um, so we'll go down to the shadows and we'll try to bring up the shadows. So if I bring this up all the way, it kind of loses its dimension. So you don't want to go up too high. It loses the quality and the dimensions. Um, you'll want to go to the highlights and bring that down because the whites are getting too bright at this point. And then maybe I'll add a little contrast so that you maintain a little bit of the dimensions. So. Now play around with the exposure a little bit more. So that looks a lot better already. Um, you might even want to play with the white balance. But to me, that doesn't look great. Um, I'm going to play around with different parts of the white. To me, it looks a little too blue when I add the white balance, so that doesn't look great. You'll notice down here that you can manually play, play around with the temperature and the tint so that you can get the color that you really want. So that is an option for you. So let's say that you're not happy with what you've done here and you want to undo everything. Here is a reset button. As soon as you click it, you see that it undoes all your changes. I'm going to go down to this curves tab and play around with the curves. You'll see that you can mess around with the whites the reds of the image, the greens, and the blues. And so this essentially plays with exposure almost in this curve. The top right plays around with the highlights in the image, and then the bottom left plays around with the shadows of the image. And so you can really create these little dots and mess around with this. And you can do the same thing for the reds in the image. You'll notice that if I mess around with that, the sh shadows and the highlights start to change in the redness. And so this is how you can really mess around with specific parts of the image. You can do the same thing for greens and blues. And you'll see that there are other options you can mess around with in these different tabs. And really you can play around with them as you deem necessary to see what helps your image. So we're going to go to this vignette option 
And so this allows you to create the that kind of like darker border effect. So I'm going to create this amount where it's dark and I'm going to bring down the feather so you see the crisp edge that we're playing around with. You'll see here that the more feather there is, the softer the edge is. All right, so I'm bringing that all the way down so you can see what these other things do. So this right here essentially plays around with the roundness of the circle. This plays around with how dark the shadow is and this plays around with how big it is. I'm just going to mess around with those and then bring the feather up so that it looks the way I want it to look. And so that gives the effect that I'm aiming for in this image. And so that is how you play around with creating a vignette. So we're going to now move on over to our third clip. And so if you look at this image, you'll see that the bright light from the window is way too bright. And then the shadows on this side of our model, it's way too dark. So we're going to try to balance these two things out by going to the basic correction tab. Down here, I'm going to essentially bring the highlights down because that's going to bring the brightness of the window down and then bring the shadows up. And so you'll see I brought the shadows all the way up and it does not look like it lost very much quality. So I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to bring up the contrast just slightly so that we can maintain a little dimension and then play around with exposure and you'll see here that you know bringing up the exposure just makes the bright light in the window way too bright so we're going to not mess with that we're going to bring that back down because i really like color i'm going to go over here and add saturation so that i add some color to our model's face and some green to the plant so i'm really liking this look you are free to add saturation or decrease it as you'd like. The more you decrease it, it'll become a black and white image. So if you wanted a black and white look, that's how you would go about doing it. So that is basic color correction in Adobe Premiere CC. I hope you learned something new today and keep tuned for more tech tips.